got a 10 a.m. appointment. So as y'all can hear, I just got bypassed, uh, I believe this is the Ag Station. Yeah, I just got bypassed the Ag Station and I got bypassed the uh, way station about four miles back. Um, so as I was saying, I've got a 10 a.m. appointment that I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going to make. GPS showed a 66 minute delay and the signs over top of 10 were showing over 75 minutes. But I've not seen anything on Google Maps or uh, I reset the GPS, it's not showing anything now either. So I don't know, we're just gonna roll the dice and see what happens. Anyhow, I'm gonna switch it over to time lapse until we get to the customer. And uh, hope y'all enjoy.
bit better. Which means I got my truck back. So, I got a three hour drive to a delivery I may or may not be allowed to do. Uh, the notes say Monday to Thursday delivery, 7 to 2.30, no Friday delivery. But the due date is today, which is Friday. So I don't understand what's going on. I got to call a uh, co signing and see what's up at 7. So I'm going to just go a couple more hours down the road and give them, well, about an hour down the road and give them a holler. And uh, who knows, maybe we can get lucky and go drop it because I already know where my next load is. My next load's Bridgeport to Auburndale, Florida. And um, that'd be my Monday load. So by the time some of y'all watch this video, that load won't even be del delivered yet. Um, and then I'm, that's obviously the load I'll take home with me. And uh, yeah. So I'm gonna put some, uh, put about 60 more miles down and um, go from there. Figure I'll let y'all uh, get a couple minutes here. So, when I got out of my spare truck, by the way, funny story. Um, I sat there and did my daily vehicle and or driver's vehicle inspection report or daily vehicle and whatever you want to call it, the DVIR. And um, I was sitting there filling it out, and I saw my GoPro remote <laughs> on the steering wheel. I even told myself out loud, I don't need to forget this. Well, guess what's still in Wilmington, North Carolina? My GoPro remote. So I've got to go there one day next week and get it. And um, yeah. So that's the story of what's going on with me at the moment. And uh, yeah, driving the rain, I ain't gonna make y'all suffer. Pretty good little hill right here to get on. Pretty good little rain. This is all left over from Beta, I think. Uh, so it's been just kind of hit or miss showers all night so far. I've been on the road for about an hour and a half. But yeah, it's good to be back in this truck for the time being at least. And um, I got my microphone back. So hopefully the audio quality is a lot better for this part of the video. If you enjoyed what you watched, remember, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's all free and it takes a second. See you on a bit.
back. So we're staying at the Nickajack Loves in Jasper, Tennessee, at the Nickajack Dam. I got me some McDonald's for supper, and as you can hear, the little bag in the background, I'm sure it's probably pretty annoying for y'all as it is for me. Uh, just a quick recap for what's going to go on next week's paycheck, shall we? Um, oh, yeah. Kenworth, I got my truck back. <clears throat> Uh, I did, ended up doing 2,700 miles this week. I, um, did two short haul runs. One was like seven miles, I think. And another one was 33. Um, <clears throat> so next week should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good paycheck. But today I ended up doing... Doo -doo 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 -doo. 538.9 miles. I'm going to go ahead and reset that before I forget in the morning. And we're currently 7.6 miles starting for next week. But that's about to change drastically as I just got to load the pace 593 miles. And I've only got to drive 638. So, pretty productive week. But I'm going to grab a bite to eat. Get ready for bed. Go to bed because I'm getting on the road at about 3.30 in the morning to head to the house. Casa del Mike. Um, and I will probably uh, shoot some video and stuff. Trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, actually, it's been, been about a month and a half since we've had a normal video. So it is time to do something normal and... Um, once I get this truck washed and whatnot, I'll do a truck tour video. It'll probably be next week's video, so you'll have that to look forward to. I just got to finish getting it set up uh, for me, and hopefully it stays reliable this time. Running like a champ. It's nice not having a stick shift. Not going to lie. I'm lazy. And, um, yeah, that's that. Y'all have a, have a good one. We'll see you in the morning. What's up guys? I don't know what's going on up here. Um, it looks like there's a vehicle fire of some sort. But we're about to find out, ain't we? This is in Atlanta 285. Yeah, you might as well say exit one. Looks like it's going down to one lane. That's why I'm in the far left, even though I'm not supposed to be technically. But you know what? It is what it is. Because that's where the heck I am. Yep, that's where I'm at. In the middle lane. So I wonder if this is the old 14 minute delay I'm supposed to be experiencing. I just hope they don't put it out before we get there. Look at that dumbass. Yeah, dumbass. You can see screw blood, but I'm going to be in this lane over here trying to try to jump ahead of all you people. Freaking retards in Atlanta, man. Dumbass. Dumbass. Good thing I ain't monetized because I can keep going. Let's go, people. Ain't that big of a fire. one lane over or two lanes open. Look at how far we got. It looks like they got it out. Deck have it. Deck have it, Bobby. Oh yeah. She's cooking. She's cooking. So just ignore the roughness real quick. I want y'all to see something. Yeah. That's an F-18, y'all. That's a cool load right there. 
heavy, I bet. I'm pretty sure they don't have the motors in it, or turbines, whatever you want to call them, engines. Thrust makers. Um, apparently there's another trailer, like two or three trucks over, that's got the wings and stuff on it, so. Uh, just sitting here topping off. And then I'll head about an hour and stuff, and then be done for the day. Got stuck in traffic. So, it is what it is. I'm enjoying this truck. I missed it severely. And, um, yeah. I'm curious to see how much uh, a eighth of a tank is. But I want a fresh start one day when I roll out, so. Alright y'all, let's go ahead and wrap this video up for the week. Remember next week is going to be the truck tour, short of anything happening to it. And um, yeah, hopefully y'all like the new truck as much as I do. I know y'all have already seen a picture of it, but obviously everybody has their own way of setting up the inside whatnot. I uh, got it cleaned up, so she's, she's nice and shiny right now. I got some... I don't know if they're polished aluminum or if they're chrome. I doubt they're chrome. They're probably polished aluminum rims. And, uh, you know, did the acid wash on that. Did the acid wash on the tanks. <coughs> the company paid for. We get one and wash every 45 days. And I leave out Monday morning nice and early and get to Auburndale, Florida, hopefully around 10 a.m. Uh, 311 miles, so roughly a five hour drive, give or take. And um, flight to drive for me today should have been like six hours, but I'm going on, well, it's gonna be like six and a half, seven hours, because I got stuck in traffic due to the Challenger fire that you see here. And um, construction. I hate construction, especially when you do it in the middle of the day and you close down two lanes of a three-lane interstate out of Atlanta. It's real smart. Not. But anyhow, we'll do a recap later on. Um, not too worried about today. Obviously, today I'm just going to the house. We'll start the recaps back up on Monday when I finish the uh, driving day. And I'll go ahead and do you know the daily mileage for that day and and where we're setting at for the week and then I'll do it again Wednesday and then again Friday. So I'm gonna do it every other day. Uh, there's no point in doing it every day because there's really no point. In... Yeah, I'm at, you know, a thousand miles or I'm at 1500 miles. Nah, it doesn't matter, man. It's just every couple of days, you know, just to let y'all know, you know, hey, I'm driving my tail off. But time to go home, spend some quality time with the old lady and enjoy what weekend I have left. Today's going to be cutting the yard, so y'all have a good week, and we'll see you next week. Remember, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week.